another 0-2 to fold. And Herrera blows him away. But here in the sixth inning, Brandon Moss struck again. Two and two. Herrera strikes him out to begin the seventh. And if you're a Kansas City fan, here comes public enemy number one. To stay on the Kansas side when they come into play. First A's player with five runs batted in in a postseason game. They got him there. But he did his damage earlier, that's for sure. Two outs here in the seventh. You know what makes you feel old, too, guys? Brandon Moss used to watch Brandon Moss play Little League ball in Loganville, Georgia. <laughs> When my son's team would play his son's team, and luckily he never hit a ball. Home runs, walk two, struck out six. And there is a straight three called to Cole Calhoun. And Calhoun thought that ball was outside, and on the pitch tracks it shows it outside. At 101, so if any doubt whether powered it by him at 98. Two down here in the seventh. Newer glove coming in. Swung on and missed. Ball gets away, and Perez to complete the strikeout makes the toss to first. One, two, three, seventh. And he's not on any bunny. On trying to hit this Herrera. Tried to check his swing and knew he didn't. Three pitches, one down. Herrera went right after him. Definitely a little overexcited. Wanted to get it done. Wanted to make something happen so bad. And that's where he gets a little jumpy. Commits way before he sees it. And somebody throwing 100 miles an hour will make you want to keep jumping and get out there but the first pitch might have been low that last pitch definitely was struck him out two up and two down here in the seven so our chevy pitch track says 92 percent of the time he throws 99 or 100 just rearing back and using the fastball this is not a big man out there, folks. He's 5'9", uh, 5'10", five, five, stockily built. Doesn't really push off. He just has one of those magical arms. Got the right approach. And he struck him out. Herrera faces three Orioles. Strikes out two. They're stretching and screaming in KC. City is six outs away from the World Series. They're stretching at Kaufman. Five hits, eight batters face, 32 minutes. Ishikawa strikes out. The start to seven. And again, Joe, it really goes back to the starting pitcher. One away and a big strikeout for Herrera. His first. The question there was, was Hunter Pence going to run on 3-2? And because he throws so hard and Perez is already throwing the ball great behind the plate already, I, you do not expect him riding. Very rare that you get a double play ball. That's why the infield plays so deep, not looking to turn two all the time. A 1-2. Got him on the outside corner, two out. Crawford looked like he was looking for a ball inside, and you just tip your cap. I need to talk about it because it's that big in a game like this. 
Herrera with a count of 0 2 as out number two. Herrera looks better tonight than he did the other night, showing the ability to bounce back, but he's got some movement now. This comes back, looks like a little change up grip. The roll over, he got some movement. They've been trying to throw fastballs by Joe Panic, it just hasn't happened. There's Buster Posey in between right now, but it is one swing away for him. That gets him over the inside corner. Herrera gets through the top of the fifth, and here he comes. to and get the ball off the barrel of the bat. Boy, a wild swing and miss by Springer. And two gone for Herrera. Triple digits. So for it to be triple digits, it's out of his hand probably releasing at about 103, 104 miles an hour by the time he gets the home plate. The hitter has .1 seconds to determine. Couple of strikeouts by Kelvin Herrera strands a base runner in scoring position. Seventh inning stretch at Kauffman Stadium. Still four to two, Houston. This is what Ned Yost wants. Swing and a miss. And there are two gone in the seventh. Well, this is just. Celine. Ties him up inside. Springer's been trying to attack the fastball all series and had some killed. Big swing and a miss. That foul tip hung on to by Perez despite having his bell rung on the previous pitch. And there's one away here in the sixth. This is just old-fashioned hardball right there. You see Gomez falling over as he swings. But he just threw it. First and Carter at the plate. As Carter swings and misses for strike three. They are two of the players that make the Astros success, at least on paper, so unlikely. Houston's the first team ever with two players, two or more players, to hit two and a quarter with 20 home runs. Up in the Astros' bullpen, so it's McCullers inning. And a swing and a miss by Castro. A walk mixed in between, but three strikeouts in the sixth. Three pitches, one out. Give it a Geico in-game box score for Toronto. Digits to send us into the seventh inning stretch. Just exploding out of the right hand of Calvin Herrera. And the formula working to perfection so far for Kansas City. Six strong from the starter. And now the first out of the bullpen, Herrera dazzles in the seventh. And now we drew three for three with three RBIs. One away here in the eighth. And now welcome inside. Got it. More shutdown pitching by this Kansas City bullpen. Bottom of the eighth inning. Kaufman slamming his. That could happen as Bautista strikes out in baseball. The key is finding those guys. Guys like Herrera, Madsen, a reclamation project, Wade Davis, who they got in the trade with Tampa Bay. 
for GMs looking for one of those guys, let alone three. Yeah, and the big part is getting the guy to buy into it. Most guys want to continue to, to be starters, like Trevor Rosenthal is turning one of the best closers now in baseball. He's with the Cardinals, right? After the first year, I want to start. You know, you hear it with Chapman all the time. It's not a swing. Man, I don't know. That's questionable. But the big thing for me is Carl Bello struck him out one away. And a big strikeout for Herrera. Right, wrong, or indifferent, you got to ask. That's what Ned's upset about. We'll leave it there. Herrera with a big strikeout, Joe. Absolutely. And that's what he gives Ned Yost coming out of the bullpen, the electric stuff. Got him on a breaking ball for out number two. And we go back to Tulowitzki's base. Absolutely. Pilar strikes out. And Herrera strikes out the side. Here comes a 2 2 to Calabello. Struck him out, two down. Tell you, you get the thought of the breaking ball in a hitter's head, and that fastball, I know this is 100 miles an hour and it's going to be by him, but it becomes 105 and you got that other thought in your mind. Rodonovan. Inning over. Mid seventh. And we join public address announcer Mike McCartney for the introduction of God Bless. He's hot right now. Struck him out, one away. And for that, that's with two in the first, two in the third, one in the fourth, four in the sixth. Is over. And the Mets down two games to nothing. Have gone to work tonight behind Cindergard, who's out of a Ventura on the other six games ever. Granderson is completely fooled. And they appeal while Granderson's walking away. And here we go in the dugout after the top of this inning. This began with a long conversation. Two out. And if you're wondering, the season high for Matt Harvey, the tw Here's a 3 2. A strike three call, and good work by Herrera. And let's go to the.